Good morning, Polly Island peeps. Today is Sunday, July 11th, 2021. And I'm on top of the truck. We hit snooze a little bit longer than we should have. So just in case we didn't quite get there in time for the sunrise, I'm on top of the truck. Sunrise is 6.11. So we're headed to Shell Access, which is where we go on Sundays a lot of times. Good morning, Anna. Lisa's driving. Lisa, you... <laughs> Good morning. Did you wave? <laughs> she does Florida, sh Florida stops. Y'all know what Florida stops are? That's where you don't stop all the way when you come to a stop sign. You roll through. <laughs> not good, not good. Oh, this is that's one of my favorites right there. The sunflowers. You see the sunflowers? Look at that. Alright. Welcome to Polly's Island. Sunrise and surf report with Lisa Clayton and David Clayton. We're almost there. All right, people. Are you a thermostat or are you a thermometer? That's my question for you this morning. Do you understand the difference of a thermostat and a thermometer? For so long I've been a thermometer. And basically what that is is whatever the environment is, I just kind of turn into it. What do you call it when you change colors to whatever color you're around? I forget what you call it, but that's kind of been my thing. I thought it was a good thing, but the truth is we're called to be thermostats and turn up our joy when joy is not turned up around us. Turn up our love when love is not all around us. We're not called to just be thermostats. I mean, uh, thermometers. We're called to be thermostats. So there you go. I'm hopping out of the back of the truck. At least I'm gonna hand you this, love. There you go. Got it? Mm. I always like this house. It's so pretty. Definitely that southern charm. Good morning, everybody. And you said today was Sunday already? You can say it again. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. July 11th. 2021. Check out that cactus. 
That's a giant. It? Yeah. Oh, how cool. Isn't that cool? That is giant. Morning, John. Morning, William. Oh, that's a cool one. It's massive. Okay. Sunrise is now. Is it now? It is now. Uh -huh. well, hopefully we're going to catch it here in just a second. The official sunrise time. Actually, I'm wrong. <laughs> it's at 614. And the time now is 612. Okay, we got two minutes. We might hit it just in time. It's kind of cool when that happens. Mm-hmm. As always, my favorite favorite thing about shells is the natural dunes. I don't know if you ever remember, for some of us as kids, having to trudge across these things to get to the beach where everything was built up. And of course, now our dunes are protected. to shoo away the state bird. A giant mosquito decided he wanted to feast for a second. <laughs> All right. You must have taken your flip-flops off. I did. Ooh, thank goodness. Temperature 75. It feels great. Yes. The water is what, 82? Today. Good morning, Debbie. That's right, the ocean is 82 degrees. A little bit of a breeze this morning. These little things are just blowing. Swaying in the wind. Wind's about seven miles an hour from the southwest. Morning, Deborah. made it. It's a beautiful clear morning, that's for sure. We're going to try to keep a signal. So he went ahead to find the bars. Okay. Almost need a Furby. I know. Seven to ten miles an hour wind this morning, straight from Georgetown. Good morning, Lynn. Up there is the sun. Oh wow. Let's zoom in. Uh, 
zoom in here. You getting a picture? You gotta get a picture of that. <laughs> oh. Who does? The sun. The cloud. Yeah, a little bit under it. I'm not sure if they can see it. <laughs> Debbie says the ball of fire. I always snapshot just in case an, another something jumps out of the water. <laughs> that was that one in a million. I know it was yeah. one in a million. It was cool. So you can try. And even then you didn't catch it. Somebody else did. No, I caught it. Did you? Yes. Oh, yeah. I didn't even try though. I was just snapping just like that. And then going back through the pictures, and there it was, this creature. Pretty cool. It was cool. It's like trying to take pictures with your family. It's like everybody smile at the same time and keep your eyes open. Yeah, good luck. So our daughter Megan was out at dinner in, Green, in uh, right outside Greenville near Clemson, and she looked out at the car, and she had a flat tire on her car, so she must have run over a nail or something. She took a picture. She had a nice big, big screw in it. It's a screw, huh? Yeah. It had that hexagonal shape on the top. It was the big one. The big boy. So, she called us, and she has an older car, and um, I called. Well, she called us mm -hmm. because circumstances being, she didn't have the equipment in her car to change a tire. Right. <laughs> She had an extra tire, but she did not have the jack and the crowbar and the lug nut thing. And Lisa remembers it getting wet in the back of the vehicle, and so she took out the... Her little... You took out all the stuff. Because it was all rusted. It was pretty nasty. Yeah. And we were going to replace it. We just didn't. Yeah, we hadn't replaced it yet. So, of course, when you need it. <laughs> so she didn't have her tools. So of course she's like, I need roadside assistance. So that's who we called. 
and they came and saved the day. There you go. Within an hour. One phone call. Can make a difference. So as we were discussing this morning, you know, I was just thinking how we can always rely on God for our roadside assistance in life. I mean, anytime we call, day or night, He's there to answer our call. 24-7. 365 days a year. The ultimate roadside assistance. <laughs> The Lord God. Which leads us to today's good news. Hebrews 4, 16. So let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. There we will receive his mercy and we will find grace to help us when we need it most. Hallelujah. So let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious <laughs> Hello. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. I'll start again. Okay. <laughs> Are you done? Can I hear an amen? Amen. Bless you. All right. So let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious <laughs> Really? Sorry. All right, here. You walk that way. I'm going to read. I think it's out now. I'm all better. Okay. I had a mosquito go up my nose there. Nobody needed to hear that. Okay. So let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. There we will receive his mercy and we will find grace to help us when we need it most. Why are you tilting? I am tilting a little. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> You know, it's amazing how God sets up tools in our life, so to speak. I mean, if, when you think about things that happen, there's certain people that you might be really close to at the time, and they have the tools to help you. It's like God puts them there for that purpose. Or you for them. Exactly. Go, Scrub. Like when you had to go through something or deal with something, think about who God may have put in your life at that time and how their imprint on your life at that time really helped pull you through. I mean, you can see God's amazing roadmap, so to speak. Mm -hmm. It's like he planned it. He planned this perfect, this perfect situation these perfect people just for you. And sometimes I think I always remember that one saying, you know, take it to the throne, not the phone. Sometimes we head for that phone. And sometimes God just wants us to get right there on our knees and call him. Take it to the throne. Another summer morning. Mm -hmm. With that southern wind. It is cool. It feels good coming off It does the water. feel great in the mornings. Yeah, you might want to watch the wind today because uh, you're sitting here on the beach. It could be an exfoliation day. Yeah, it is, it's going to be a little windy. 
So just be prepared. Yes. Anything you own will have sand on it. Low tide was this morning at 325. And high tide's at 916 this morning. And then mid-afternoon, you're going to have another low tide, about 321. Ooh, shell seekers. There you go. Be ready. Big beach. The no -seam index. Right now, I have not felt any. It's been windy enough to wear the no -seam, so I'm going to give it a one or a two. Because when you walk in the dunes, of course, there were some skeeters. There were. Little chance of rain today at times, just little periods. Typical summer weather. But all in all, we're going to have a sunny day. A sunny Sunday. Yes. High temperature day is about 85. Kind of loving it. I don't remember such a mild summer. It does seem like it's, we've only had a couple days in the 90s. Just checking out the clouds. The tropical clouds. So our little friend Tony, the tiger, she's heading to uh Surfside today for possible adoption. So if you were interested in Tony, you might want to reach out and let someone know because she'll be up there. I think I think she has an adopted possibility. Home, yeah. But there's plenty more. Don't you worry about it. There's plenty more animals in need. All right, Lee, you ready to sign out of here? Yeah, done that quickly, huh? I think I think it's a quick morning. Well, it's a Sunday. People have to get ready. Yes. For their beautiful days. Oh. oh. Meg Kelly. Sharing. She's at Lake Marion right now. Wonderful. So you'll have to share her post. <laughs> there you go. Gorgeous okay. sunrise. I, lo I love that. That's a great idea, sharing your sunrise wherever you are. That is a great idea. Let's do it. Do you feel like walking to the to the ocean and just putting and seeing, just seeing if we can stay? Uh, sometimes we can't do it because our bars. So let's go for it. If I we... Yep, we have one bar, but let's just see. If for some reason we lose you, you all have an amazing morning. God bless you, <laughs> and God keep you. And God, God you make his choices. Yes. The best choices today and every day. The perfect choices. One of those choices is to be a thermostat, not a thermometer. And call on God when you need him. Yes. For your roadside assistance. <laughs> That's right. Don't let the up and downs of your day. Still in two bars. Good. Affect you. You affect them. Good morning, guys. Yes. I start my day off with that wonderful shower. A Sunday shower. They're the best. Because <laughs> nobody else has been up to take, get all the hot water. Like, you know, during the week, yeah, all bets are off. 
Okay, y'all. We're hunting down the sun here. We actually have three bars right here. Do we really? Yeah. I love it. We have to remember this. Ooh, Maybe we good. should stop right here. Mm. Was it a good surf day? Did you ever say? One to two foot waves, and they're about eight seconds apart. Not a bad surf day. Tropical clouds. Definitely looks like summer clouds today. Beautiful sky. I guess we'll do a 360. All right, we're signing out of here, guys. We already said, God we already bless said. you. It's already said our ending. So, we love you guys. We do, have an amazing Sunday. And, let me see the sun. Okay, the sun. Not the sun. Sorry, there it is. There it is. Oop. All there right. There it is. Yep. You read my mind. All right. That's scary. Okay. What a morning. <laughs> it is what a morning. It's kind of fun starting in the back of the truck. That was kind of fun. All right. We're out of here.